hello friends welcome to our new accounting video in this video we will discuss one more problem related to the bank reconciliation statement here we have cash book showing detail of banking transactions and a copy of bank statement if we see the balance of both the records then we will find that both the records are not showing same balance here bank column of the cash book is showing balance of dollar 790 and uh, bank statement is showing balance of dollar uh, 555 and now we need to reconcile the balances of both the records and for that purpose uh, we will prepare bank reconciliation statement but first uh, we will compare the cash book with the bank statement and identify the reasons which are responsible for the difference in the balances of both the records here we will compare bank column on the debit side of the cash book with the deposit column of the bank statement and bank column on the credit side of the cash book we will compare with the withdrawal column of the bank statement and we will highlight the items with the green boxes which we find in both the records and the items which we find only in one record either in the cash book or in the bank statement those items we will highlight with the red boxes so let's start so first we will compare the bank column on the debit side of the cash book with the deposit column of the bank statement now dollar 500 we can easily find in the both the records so we will highlight this amount with the green box now next dollar 260 we can easily find in both the records so we will highlight this amount with the green box and now dollar 200 we find only in the cash book not in the bank statement so we will highlight this amount with the red box and now we will compare bank column on the credit side of the cash book with the withdrawal column of the bank statement and we can see that dollar 920 is recorded in both the records so we will highlight this amount with the green box and uh, next uh, dollar 480 is also recorded in both the books so again we will highlight this amount uh, with the green box and uh, now dollar 220 is recorded only in the cash book not in the bank statement so we will highlight this amount uh, with the red box and the uncolored figures in the bank statement are those items which are recorded in the bank statement but not in the cash book so these figures also we will highlight with the red box so one by one we will highlight all these figures with the red boxes and now we can say that the figures shown in the red boxes are the main causes for which both the records are not showing same balance and now to prepare the bank reconciliation statement first we will update the cash book with the transactions which are already recorded in the bank statement but still not entered in the cash book so let's start updating the cash book the first transaction is related to the dishonored check which was earlier received from parker so now the entry for this transaction in the cash book will be parker's account debit and bank account credit with dollars 260 and as in the entry bank account is credited so in the cash book on the credit side in the bank column first we will write the amount dollar 260 and then in column for particular we will write uh, parker and the next transaction which is uh, entered in the bank statement but not recorded in the cash book is about dividend received dollar 25 and the entry for this transaction in the cash book will be bank account debit and dividends account credit with dollar 25 and as in the entry bank account is debited so in the cash book on the debit side in the bank column first we will write the amount dollar 25 and then in column for particular we will write dividends and this is the entry for this transaction in the cash book and now one more transaction left to record in the cash book 
and that is bank charges dollar 20 and the entry for this transaction in the cash book will be bank charges debit and a bank account credit with dollar 20 and as in the entry bank account is credited so in the cash book on the credit side in the bank column first we will write the amount dollar 20 cent and then in column for particular we will write bank charges after updating the cash book we can see that the updated balance of the cash book is now dollar 535 and the balance as per bank statement is dollar 555 still there is difference of dollar 20 and now we will prepare bank reconciliation statement and this is the format of bank reconciliation statement so first uh, we will show the updated balance of the cash book and that is dollar 535 The first item is regarding check issued to Joy of $220. This transaction is entered in the cash book and due to this the balance of cash book decreased. But as Joy didn't present this check into the bank for the payment purpose, so therefore there is no entry for this transaction in the bank statement. And as there is no entry for this transaction in the bank statement, so balance as per bank statement remained unaffected with this amount to dollar 220 but the balance in cash book has decreased with this dollar 220 and uh, now we are to get the balance as per bank statement so therefore we are to add this dollar 220 here to the balance as per cash book After addition the result will be 755 and now one more item left uh, which we are to consider in this bank reconciliation statement and uh, that is uh, cash deposited into the bank dollar 200 but is still not uh, credited by the bank in the bank statement. This item is uh, entered in the cash book and due to which uh, the balance in cash book uh, has increased by dollar 200 but in the bank statement there is no entry for this transaction so therefore the balance in bank statement remained unaffected with this amount dollar 200 and as we are to get the balance as per bank statement so therefore we need to subtract this dollar 200 in the bank reconciliation statement because with this 200 already the balance in cash book has increased so therefore we are to decrease this dollar 200 here just to get the balance as per bank statement Now after subtracting this dollar 200 the result will be dollar 555 and uh, which is equal to the balance as per bank statement. So in this manner we prepared the bank reconciliation statement. I hope that you understood the entire procedure and I look forward to see you in our next video. Wish you all the best.